Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to speak just tiny touch more about the marathon uh, and I'm going to say my final opinions, my final conclusions about this vehicle, is it good, is it bad, what is the strongest sides of this vehicle, what is the weaknesses and so on, so on. So I can tell you that I played two days with this vehicle, right? I try to check out the strong sides, the weak sides of this tank and so on, so on. So what is happening? I played 77 battles with this vehicle. We managed to score 2.6 thousand average damage, 1000 uh, average assisting damage. We got mark of excellence and mark of excellence requirements was 3000. I have no doubts mark of excellence requirements will drop down because it's very, very difficult tank to play with. So. Quick information about this vehicle. Is it good? Is it balanced? First question would be, is it balanced? Absolutely, yes, it is balanced and it's funny tank. You know what, what this vehicle reminds me in a way? Look, in my opinion, this vehicle reminds me LC even. It is cute little thing which is not breaking the game. In order to play well with this vehicle, you need to know what you are doing. Um, you need to know how to use uh, handbrakes when you want to make a turn because you are turning like a ship. You are turning very, very, very slowly, right? So this is the things to keep in mind. Speaking about the gun, gun can be your best friend and gun can be your worst enemy. So uh, this vehicle, let's say like that. I think it's balanced. I think it's fine as it is, but I think many people might not enjoy it. So keep this in mind because it's going to be very, very hard vehicle to play with, okay? For example, um, I did not spam at full gold when I was playing with it. That's how I played. And with Lorraine, I have more damage and I have pretty much same assisting damage. And with uh, Lorraine, I played long time ago. Uh, so keep this in mind. Anyways, I think it's okay vehicle, right? Uh, strong things you can spot and you are going to see two best battles which I had, which is going to be in Prokurovka and Kempinovka. I think those games are pretty much perfect, okay? So we are going to speak more about this vehicle there. Speaking about the marathon which is going on, <clears throat> honestly, if... Uh, I'm going to say my opinion on what that means and what is this marathon is all about. First of all, how much do you need to do, right? You need to get roughly 250,000 experience, right? Um, if you are picking the grind way and speaking about the more skillful way or whatever, it's going to take shit enough time too and you need to be very, very good player. You need to be pretty much one of the kind players. So don't bother with that uh, if you are not like super fluffy um, unicorn, right? Anyways, what, what marathons are created for, fellas? Marathons are created for not to complete them. Marathons created for to give you a discount, so after that you are going to buy the vehicle on the discount. That's what Marathon is for. And for a casual player which is playing one hour a day, even two hours a day, you won't be able to complete it, okay? So look at everything from this side. Uh, ask yourself, do you want this vehicle? And so on, so on. And if you decide to go for it, go for it. If not, then not. Um, just get a couple of stages done and then if you really want it, go and buy it. Although tank is not bad, but it's not super powerful, so keep this in mind, right? There is a lot of better tanks in the game. For example, Progetto. Progetto is so much better, but this tank can be fun. It is fun tank, but it's very hard to play with, right? So I don't... I don't want to go too deep into the marathon. I said, what, what, uh, what is the whole strategy behind this? And it's completely up to you. Um, do you want to be part of this or not? And obviously, if you are enjoying playing the game for shit enough time, uh, play it, play it. It's your life. You can do whatever you want, right? When we have this out of the way, thank you so much for serving to our forces budget. Uh, and we are going with a replay. And the first replay is going to be in Prokurovka. It's going to be a good one, okay? It is going to be a good one. Loading, loading, loading skill. It's my morning coffee, okay? Don't, don't judge me, don't blame me. Okay, this is going to be amazing. So, 
Fellas, pay attention what is happening in this battle, right? Prokurovka, North Spavn. Now, slowly but surely, check out the map. Why I picked this battle? Because this tank is one of the best uh, vehicles in the game to do uh, some sporting. Um, and in in this kind of situation, you can you can play as a light tank because you have a very 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 good camo. And I truly love um, this position where I'm heading to. By the way, fellas, pay attention at the map. Yes, 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 right there. Um, literally ten guys is moving to one two line. And when you think it's messed up, when you think it's nightmare, when you think it's completely GG, no, it's not. Okay, we are going to make this battle work. So what is happening here, fellas? We are going to the standard bush and how the standard bush is looking here. Uh, standard bush is looking exactly where I'm looking at and peep, we are in the bush. Why I'm picking this one because you are moving out of the bush and you can simply shoot um, enemies without even asking their names, right? The reload between the shells on this vehicle, it's like mini T-57, but uh, with a bit different potential, right? Uh, you can do 720 damage. I mean, it's very, very, very strong and it's very good, okay? So right here, we are sitting on the reload. We are just chilling, um, see, having a good smells in the forest, on the hill, you know, on the mountain or however you are calling that. And we are just waiting till enemies are going to make one or another mistake. Wafflecock got spotted. We are moving back. We are trying to hit him. Not a hit, unfortunately. As you can see, the gun handling bloom is quite big one. Um, and uh, remember, I have five... I'm lying. I have seven crew skills over there. So keep this in mind. It's very, very important. And if you don't have a b b very, very good crew, it's going to be a very, very complicated stuff. Now pay attention. The enemy light tank is going like this. I'm thinking, can I, can I punish you? And absolutely yes. Enemy light is down from the game and now enemies do not have uh, eyes at all. And pay attention at the situation once again look into the map we don't have too many people in this side we do not have middle and enemies are making pressure what do i want to do i want to get a couple of shots and i want to run gun as you can see it's not ideal and i'm running i'm looking into this rev and saying buddy listen listen buddy if you are going to sit here you are going to have a bad time but rev <clears throat> have his own feelings uh, he have his own thoughts and uh, he's getting gang banged oh well what can we do we can be with him um, mentally and we can hold his hand that's what we can do nothing more than that so we are looking at him taking one for the team and what we are doing here we are uh, progressing backwards but meanwhile we are doing damage for the enemies as you can see bloody full shot right there into the side 360 alpha damage and shot into the jet panther side right his <laughs> Reva have one hit points left, which is completely fine, fellas, right? And I am still waiting until enemies are going to make one or another mistake over there because I really want to get extra clip. And now I'm getting spotted, but I don't really mind. What I want to do, I want to punish the Blade Prince, right? One into the side did not went through and another uh, into the lower plate, but that was good angle, so I cannot complain. Um, I did not manage to penetrate him. It's just how it is. So start is looking like this. 2.3 thousand damage, we lost the hill completely and we still have a um, forest uh, full of magical... We still have a forest full of mushrooms. If you are wondering what I was doing that um, by this move. If you was wondering what I was trying to do, that was a um, part of the Titanic movie. And, uh, you know, this guy tried to do the same thing. But unfortunately, he was not that lucky as I was. Good. Very, very good. So score is 4 to 4. Our lemming train is going via the 1-2 line. And to be completely honest with you, enemies have an advantage over there. The main reason why enemies have an advantage over us because they actually um, have a map control. Although to stop the lemming train, which is going... 
like this it is kind of complicated right and I am trying to figure out what do I want to do and more likely at this point I was still laughing from the EBR tier 7 how he died while jumping via the rails and how the things went good for us and not so good for him right look Currently, I am th I am thinking how I could be useful and I'm trying to spot the middle, right? Lorraine spotted me, I spotted him. I'm already running because once again, um, one mistake with this vehicle and you are doomed, especially when they have so many bushwankers on top of the hill. And what I decide, I decide immediately to relocate from the middle because the enemies is taking over 6-7 line and I decide to go in front. You know why? Because I want to get as much use as I can. And this is the situa This is a good situation about this vehicle. Pay attention what is happening. We have 62 kilometers per hour speed and in the Prokurovka field we can go super aggressively just like this and we can be a spotters. Now we are raising gun and we are saying using the handbrakes and look at those guys disappearing. Have fun boys. We have so many guns over there and we have a great support from our team. So as you can see, in this kind of matchmaking, in this kind of situation, you can actually do damage. 720 potential of the clip is very, very nice. Do I think this tank supposed to be buffed? No. I think it's uh, as fine as it is because it, currently it's not broken and it's fun tank. This is the most important thing. And in the same time, you can behave like a spotter. Because your camo valus, at least when you have brother in arms full uh, camo crew and everything, plus on top of that, whenever you are using the directive on this vehicle, um, what kind of camo do you have? You have 43 camo. There is some lights which don't have uh, camo like this, okay? Especially if you don't have the camouflage skill, if I can say so. So it is insane. Um, one more thing, amount of the ammunition which this tank can carry is not that huge. What do I mean by saying that is, there was many battles when I was running out of standard ammunition and I simply was forced to shoot the gold. But skill, why not to get more, um, why not to get more, look at the aim time by the way, did you saw that? It's insane, the gun handling is not very reliable. Why am I not getting more standard ammunition then? What if we are going to have a tier 10 matchmaking and we actually need to carry and we have four ammunition of the gold and we need to do with a mouse and mouse you cannot penetrate even pretty much in the side with 190 or something like this. Yep, look at the gun fellas, look at the gun, how it is behaving. As you can see, you can spot, you can move around, you are like a ghost in a way but in the same time, my lovely friends, I mean, it's not the most powerful tank in the game. For example, with a Progetto, probably I could do the same things, but maybe even better. Anyways, uh, shot into the Blood Prince, can we take a kill? Absolutely no. 5.5 thousand damage, 1.9 thousand assisting damage. And why I shared this battle? Because this battle was, uh, everything was shown in this battle. You can spot with a vehicle, you can relocate with a vehicle, you can um, you can do everything. You can do damage, gun handling is therapy. You saw literally everything in this. And if you think it was it was good battle, absolutely it was. But we have one more in Kempinovka. You will see such a gun handling, you will be surprised about, okay? You will be surprised about that. So let's go immediately to Kempinovka fields. Um, and I picked the two replays just to show what this vehicle is all about. And you know, while Marathon is still going on, um, you can make a decision. Do you want to grind it? You don't want to grind it. And you know, not everyone have shit enough time, right? Um, there is a lot of people with wives, childs and so on, so on. And you cannot say, honey. I won't be there for 11 days, if you know what I mean. Obviously, in the same time, my lovely friends, it depends on you. If you want to go for it, go for it. Who I am to judge you, right? Uh, plus, on top of that, thinking about making marathon myself. So, first things first. I was thinking about doing the scout run, but I noticed that we have a light tank, which is going piri piri on the field, right? So... What I decided to do right there, I decided to make a bit different strategy. By saying different strategy, I decided to go and take Delta 6 position. 
So from delta 6 position we can actually shit on the light tanks. Pay attention at the gun handling at the same time and everything. Some people is saying gun lane drive can be an option on this tank but uh, I think ventilation is giving you more benefits because of the view range and of everything, right? Just saying. So currently we are sitting in the bush right here, that's what this tank is all about, right? And look at those shots. Now look at this. If you are wondering what was my reaction of all this, I said kurva, 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 va. That's what I said, okay? Um, and what that means, flowers, my lovely friends, flowers. If RNG in your side, you can hit even, uh, even a bird from uh, the other side of the map. Let's say like that. This guy is naive. He made a mistake. He got punished for his stupidity. I'm getting spotted. That's indicating for us they have a bushwankers in the um, Foxtrot 7, which is completely fine. And in the same time, I make Sada could spot me, right? which is completely fine. So now I'm making more pressure. Um, Centurion is over there, plus on top of that he's trying to hit us, but I don't really mind. I thought I don't want to fix my tracks at first, but then I changed my mind and we fixed it. Meanwhile, the guard is looking for a shot into me, so I, I want to just relax, take it easy and wait until I can do more. And once again, um, this tank, this tank can work in the city maps, but you need to surprise the enemy, speak from the corner, burst them twice and simply piri piri escape. What I want to say, for me this vehicle is like a mini budget in a way. This time, with this tank you can spot when there is no light tanks, you can actually feel like you are the spotter and you can do damage uh, with a quite good burst, right? That's what I'm saying and that's what I'm thinking. And I believe you see that. now. After you saw those games, right, now you need to think, do you have experience in that? Do you know how camo uh, is working like, how bush mechanic is looking like overall, right? Um, do, you know, do you know how to make this vehicle work? And in the same time, if you don't know, don't be sad. Why, why am I saying that if you will want to learn um, how to do the things, you will learn it. For example, not not everyone knows how to play the guitar, right? Or or whatever else instrument, uh, like piano or whatever, right? But if when they whenever they are trying to learn it, whenever they are practicing, they are getting better at it. So if you are enjoying the game, you are having a blast in the game, and you want to become better, um, hip hip hooray! You are going to do this now. Look, you see how how unreliable in certain situations we are the middle uh, and high range uh, this time can be. Here you go, fellas. So keep this in mind. Now, this is the smart strategy. We came here without getting spotted. So what we are doing, we are pretty much waiting until enemies are going to make a mistake, until enemies will start pushing right there. And I don't want to get spotted. Uh, the distance is very, very uh, close, let's say like that. And all I want to see, I want to see enemy messing up. Meanwhile, there is a guard and there is a centurion. Oh, sorry, curve over we're on action shit. And there is a guard. I'm saying hi there, track! And that was surprise for Mr. Guard. Well, he took one for the team. It's okay. And once again, I am sitting here safe. Um, to the stone and I'm just waiting waiting for mistakes. As you can see, Carver Veron action shit is going in front and I'm saying hello sweetheart. That's it, done finito. Now I am loading gold ammunition, but skill, why? Defender is defender even in the ass, okay? So um, we are rebalancing the tank armor in this way. So we are getting closer, right here, defender is punishing us and I'm still on the reload but I have zero Fs given. So now look how the, how flanking is looking like. Okay, look. And I am, uh, this tank is turning that slow, okay? This vehicle is turning literally that slow as you saw there. And I was even using the handbrakes to turn. So handbrakes is definitely necessary on this vehicle. Meanwhile, defender is going on the full bananas. And he's trying to catch us, but answer is not today, honey, not today. 
So we uh, we finished off the, the defender over there, 3.7 thousand damage, 1.8 thousand assisting damage. And fellas, I have a question. Which ass is more beautiful? Am I X65T, uh, the French ass, or IS3? And as you can see, I'm looking into the both of them and I'm asking Twitch chat, which ass is more pretty? And we have very, very kind chat. One to the French ass and one to the Russian ass. That's how we are going to make love. Okay, we are not being greedy. We are, we are simply sharing the love between, you know, or separating the love between those two. And obviously the gun handling worked quite fine in this situation, right? So I'm just yoloing in right there. The main reason why I'm yoloing in because I see another Russian ass and you know, I, I, I like it. So here you go, Schnei one, Schnei another one. 5.1 thousand damage, 2 thousand assisting damage, and some assisting, and maybe even some blind assisting, although I can't remember that was the case or not. Uh, those were pretty much the best games which I had. Did I have some good games um, overall with this tank in the city maps? Absolutely, yes, there was multiple games, 4,000 plus, uh, maybe even 5,000, I can't remember that, but I did not found uh, uh, the reason why to put that on the YouTube and uh, yeah. So here you go. My final conclusions about this tank, my final games about this tank. Overall, good job to our gaming. As wrong as it sounds, fellas, um, I am I am that person which is which is saying when the things is made correctly and when the things is made wrong. Okay, and this tank is fun, in a way. Okay, this vehicle is very. Fun in my opinion, it's very hard tank to play with, but if you will master it, you are going to be competitive. If you are not going to master it, you are not going to be competitive, right? And this is how the tank should be done, right? Uh, at least in my opinion. Obviously, some tanks should be um, good for good players, some tanks should be good for bad players or for new players, you know, however you are calling this. Either way. Um, I think this tank is perfectly balanced and it is even in that shitter part if I can say so But it's better to have shitty premium tank than to have overpowered uh, Premium tank right so kudos to our gaming good job. That was a actually very very nice balance. Okay um, Speaking about the marathon how long it's going to take well, you know, it's understandable um, And I'm not going to dig too deep right there. So Thank you so much for watching, fellas. That was your daily dose of skill. Thank you so much for everything, fellas, for your support, which you are showing recently. You are amazing, and I hope you are enjoying uh, your daily content, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Skill is out. Peace.